Tea is an aromatic beverage, prepared by pouring hot or boiling water over cured or fresh leaves of Camellia sinensis, an evergreen shrub native to East Asia, which probably originated in the borderlands of southwestern China and northern Myanmar. The tea manufacturing process is an intricate one that begins with the plucking of good leaf. Two leaves and a bud, and results in the final tea leaf that you see. Expert tea pickers pluck only the fresh leaf, consisting of the bud and the leaves below it, which is the key to ensuring a tea that is rich in flavor and character. The plucked tea leaves are brought to the factory, where they are put into large withering troughs which fan hot air to reduce the moisture content of the tea leaf. This ensures the leaf becomes flaccid. This is referred to as physical wither. There are also important chemical changes that take place during this time, such as the breakdown of molecules to smaller units which increase amino acids and flavor compounds. The partial breakdown of walls between cells which is important for the subsequent stages of manufacture. In order to ensure this chemical wither takes place adequately, the plucked leaves are withered for a minimum of six hours. The purpose of rolling is primarily to break up the leaf cells, or compartments, and to mix up the chemical components of the leaves with the enzymes. Various types of rollers are used to achieve this objective. The first roll is often very gentle and known as the preconditioning roll. The main action of the preconditioning roll has been found to be the gentle expression of the leaf juice onto the surface of the twisted particles. These juices dry up on the surface of the particles to contribute to the blackness of tea. Subsequent rolling is programmed to achieve a thorough breakdown of the leaf cells. A considerable amount of heat is generated by friction during the rolling process, but care must be exercised to ensure that temperature does not exceed 35 Celsius because undesirable chemical and enzyme reactions could occur at higher temperatures. Once the leaf is sifted through the roll breaker, it is spread out on an even surface and left to allow oxidization or what is referred to as fermentation. The process of fermentation represents a series of complex chemical reactions which begin at the moment when the leaf is broken in the roller. The breaking up of cells which causes the mixing up of the enzymes with the other chemical compounds within the cell results in a number of reactions. The most important being the oxidation of polyphenols. An additional reaction that occurs during fermentation is the formation of some flavor compounds. The process of firing removes most of the leaf moisture and stops fermentation by destroying the enzymes. Further, 
The flavor of the tea is balanced during firing because some of the lesser desirable low boiling compounds are removed, thus accentuating the presence of more useful higher boiling compounds. The fired tea leaves are sorted into particle sizes by sending them through sifters that sift them through different meshes. This helps to categorize the teas into the different grades including dust, pico, BOP, etc. The made tea is then tasted and assessed by the tea maker and expert tasters to ensure it meets all quality standards in terms of leaf appearance, aroma, cup color and character of the tea. <laughs>